Good news is there's no warnings out for Southeast Texas right now. We do have a watch and I'll show you that in a second, but there are no warnings. Now you get over into Louisiana. Uh, there are tornadoes warnings lining up through Beauregard and Vernon Parish on up into central parts of Louisiana. This particular little line of thunderstorms here is really flared up and they're seeing tornado warnings there. We're watching this line through uh, parts of southern Jasper and Newton County going down towards the Winnie area. Some of these could flare up as we go through the next uh, a half an hour to an hour or so. So we're going to watch those very closely. And then there's another line back behind that where not a lot of thunderstorms, but there's one uh, just getting ready to come into, say, the southern parts of Tyler County that will be watching a lot of lightning associated with that. None of these have any warnings with them right now. But once again, they could flare up as a cold front presses towards us. So we're going to be watching those. Looks like rain right now all the way from 69 down to the Woodville area and then just past Woodville. Some of these yellow areas are some heavier rainfall. Looks like towards Comanel, they're seeing uh, some heavy rain. Here's that other batch of rain I was showing you through parts of southern Jasper and Newton County. A few thunderstorms here uh, creating a little bit of lightning, a heavy rainfall. But once again, there's no warnings associated here. Uh, looking at a couple of spots with some very heavy rains where you're seeing the red, especially right there in the extreme uh, south southwestern corner of Jasper County. Between uh, Lumberton and Beaumont, there's a little bit of rain. And then we have some more rain down along I-10. Once again, uh, nothing too heavy right now. Not too much in the way of thunderstorms, but some heavy rainfall there. Here is the uh, tornado watch. This goes till 6 o'clock tonight. It does include Newton County. It also includes a little bit of Jasper County and the northern edge of Orange County. Now, once the front goes through, and that should be before 6 o'clock tonight, uh, they'll be dropping this uh, tornado watch for uh, parts of southeast Texas. But looks like probably at least through the middle part of the afternoon, we're going to have to wait before that front comes through. So it could be, uh, say, 3.34 o'clock, 4.30 before they actually drop this watch once the front finally gets through the area. But uh, we'll be watching these thunderstorms as they work their way into uh, the deep moisture out there. Education First, Federal Credit Union, we're looking at the camera part of our live SkyCam network, looking down on East Tex Freeway where it's been wet at times this morning, pretty heavy rains in some spots. Right now, fairly dry out there, but a lot of cloud cover. As we take a look kind of at the big picture right now, here's the tornado watch. It covers most of Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, but just a little slip of Southeast Texas here. So most of the severe weather probably going to be off to our east this afternoon. Uh, we'll be watching it pretty closely. And then you can see the front is back off towards our west, but not too far to the west. Houston already dropping down into the lower 60s, while we're still in the middle to upper 70s here in Southeast Texas. So it's just off towards the west. Look at Dallas at 40 degrees right now. Waco's at 44. College Station at 48. So there's a big difference there, and that difference in temperature and the moisture that creates some of these stronger thunderstorm cells. Here's a closer look at temperatures. Woodville right now at 75, Dayton at 76, while Houston's at 60. So a 15 degree spread there driving from Dayton over to the Houston area. And then we're looking at some upper 70s through the triangle, some middle to lower 70s here uh, in two parts of the lakes area. So that cold front is re reaching up towards the Woodville area already. Uh, you can see it pretty clearly. So those cooler temperatures are going to be coming in through the, uh, say, middle part of the afternoon. And that should end our severe weather threat as we go into later on today. But until then, we'll be watching for showers and thunderstorms to move across the area by, say, about 4 o'clock or so. I think most of the activity should start to move off towards the uh, east and we'll start to clear things out. Look by 7 o'clock we could see temperatures into the middle to upper 50s. By 10 o'clock we'll be in the 40s and then overnight we're really going to see things cool down. Matter of fact it's going to get cold. We're going to drop off into the middle to upper 30s going into Tuesday morning. So it's going to be a big change from the 70s we started off with uh, for this morning and then tomorrow we'll see high struggle to get up into the lower 50s. So it's going to be a big change from today. As we look at our coastal marine forecast, choppy out there in the Gulf. We're seeing a gale watch uh, through today. Southwesterly winds at 15 to 20 knots, seas from 2 to 4 feet. Uh, next high tides at 8.04, water temperature at 63. Rain and thunderstorms scattered about through the afternoon. High temperatures we we're reaching right now in the upper 70s. They should start to drop as we go through the afternoon with south winds now, but changing out of the north at 10 to 20 behind the front. Temperatures continue to drop overnight into the 30s. We'll see partly cloudy skies through the overnight, and then our seven-day forecast shows some sunshine, but much cooler temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday, highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s, even the 30s on Thursday morning before we hit about 60, back into the 60s for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with lows in the 40s. Slight chance of a few showers on Friday. I think Friday will be nothing like we're seeing out there for today.